Venti is the most suspicious Archon we have met. Let's talk about his connection to Istaroth, the god of time and what they are planning together. Istaroth, who is one of the four shades of the primordial one, was known as the Thousand Winds of Time, as well as the Undying Wind. Venti was originally a single thread of the Thousand Winds. It is highly likely that Venti is a familiar or fragment of Istaroth. We have got many hints from the start of the game to justify that. In his character demo, it says that Venti is full of mystery and was born from the branches of time. We know Istaroth is the god of time. Mondstadt used to worship two gods. God of wind and god of time, which can be known from the Thousand Winds Temple. Venti also has Cecilia flowers as ornaments on his outfit and lyre, which can be found near the Thousand Winds Temple. In the Genshin Impact manga when Vanessa asked Venti about Celestia, images of these three persons came to his mind. There are many theories about who those are, but they are most likely the other three shades. Istaroth left Mondstadt and went to help the people of Enkonomia. Istaroth taught them how to make the Denichi Mikashi. She even helped them to dispel the abysmal energy in Enkonomia. After the rise of the Seven, people of Tevat started to forget the Shining Shades, but people of Enkonomia continued to worship her even after it was sunk underground by Celestia. That's probably why she helped them. Istaroth helped Makoto to plant the sacred Sakura through Ei, back in time 500 years ago. These actions go against the heavenly principles. So she could have been punished by the other Shades for going against the heavenly principles. But she also has the power of the undying wind, and so she lives on through the thousand winds, including Venti. She could potentially even be reborn through these winds and live if she reaches a place that is outside of God's gaze. Maybe even a sea of ashes where the wind does not blow and a great phoenix dwells. A place where Stanley died, and yet Venti was able to retrieve the dead with a breeze through it to bring comfort to Hans Archibald who survived, even though it's a place Venti shouldn't have access to. There are many more cases when Istaroth happened to help gods and goddesses who were going against Celestia. Is she perhaps rebelling against the heavenly principles? Comment below what you think.